What is up guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your 17th intermediate Java tutorial. And in this tutorial we're gonna be I'm gonna be beginning to teach you guys about generic classes and methods and first the generic method. Now what a generic method is, is it's pretty much in a way that a way that you can eliminate overloaded methods. So you know that an overloaded methods are used to perform pretty much the same thing depending on what type of data it has. So instead of having like 10 overloaded methods with each different type of data, it would be real nice if we could just have one method in that no matter what type of data we pass it in, it would perform the same action of each. So let's go ahead and I'm going to first show you guys an example of just two simple overloaded methods. And then from there, I'll show you the problems that they create and how we can fix it by building a generic method. So let's go ahead and start with two arrays. We'll make an integer array, and I'll just name it i array, and just populate it with like four integers, but like one, two, three, four. And now make an array of a different type of data, like character, and I'm gonna name my c array for a character array, and go ahead and put like b. Got to put those in brackets. Um, b. U. C and Y or any four characters. That's just uh spells my name kind of. And now we have two arrays. Let's go ahead and build our own methods that we're gonna create. Now I'm gonna be created I'm gonna be creating a method called print me and it's gonna be an overload method. So it's gonna actually be two different methods and as one parameter is gonna be integer and the other parameter is gonna take character data. So go ahead and put print me and for the first one pass it in the i array since this is going to take an integer array and and that statement and print me and this one's going to take a character array so pass in c array so we got a, a little error here and it says make sure that you create the method print me so let's go ahead and outside of our main method and this is very important make sure you're outside it let's go ahead and put public static void print me and the first one we're going to create is the integer array so integer um, just go ahead and name the variable i and in order what do we want to put as a code in this print me let's just go ahead and put four integer x and treat it as i just an enhanced for loop system out print f and let's go ahead and just print out the array uh, nothing confusing so go ahead and as a format let's go ahead and put string space right there and as an argument go ahead and pass x and what this is going to do is loop through your integer array and print each element one by one so after that let's just go ahead and print a blank line so our code actually looks readable so out print line so now we have one method built and this is the print me method that takes integer data but say we have another type of array right here and we need to make another print me for this as well so let's go ahead and copy this and paste the whole thing underneath it and instead of print me with integer data go ahead and press, press character data right in there and you can keep that I might as well and another thing you need to do is change this integer to character right here and let's go ahead and run this and we should see a code that works fine it says one two three four b u c y so that's what we wanted to do and this is actually um, a perfectly fine program that we can build but the problem is is we only have two types of data right here so it isn't that big a problem but say we want to have a method that's going to take a whole bunch of different types of data integer character string long what we want to do is instead of having like 800 overloaded methods it would be nice if we can build one generic method that can take any type of data so that's the problem with having tons of overload methods and there's an extremely easier way to do this and i'm going to be teaching you guys that in the next tutorial so for now that's all the time i have thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time